the fridge your grandma bought works better than the fridge you bought last year have you ever thought why your phone can't work properly or lose its functionality after a year or two and do you have any idea why oil companies go green suddenly do you want to know what are the answers of all these questions the answer lies in land obsolescence do you know what it is and how it works or who introduced it if you want to know it then watch this video and find our answers land obsolescence is really talked about topic in our media it is a dirty secret of our capitalists the meaning of planned obsolescence is shortening of the life cycle of a product why capitalists shorten the life cycle of a product because if you buy it once you won't have to buy it again if you can use it for more than a year and how will business earn if you won't buy it again the idea is very simple it is to earn more and more profits and that's why capitalists introduced it credit goes to bernard london and steven brooks who introduced this idea in different ways and that's why today it's working because of this idea today our society is converted into a consumer based society capitalist society and which self esteem and your confidence is dependent on the products you buy that's the reason why people buy iphones every year because they think that if you buy iphone then you will be the supreme person in the society you will be the most confident person in the society and you will be the most respectable person in the society that's why this society is consumer based society not creator based society planned obsolescence has a very long history but before going in that history i think that we should discuss something about agriculture and hunter gatherer society before 10000 years ago humans were living in hunters and gatherer society they hunted for food gather the food and then eat it and in that time they were very much connected to the earth to the nature with agriculture everything became different humans who were first connected to the nature became master of the same nature with irrigation and farming they knew how to mold the nature according to their wishes and that's how everything started after this period we have industrialization the rest is history move forward to the 16th century capitalism was born with the proposition of an eternal development in quality of products and production of best quality goods through mutual competition between the market forces capitalism in its original form died on the christmas eve of 1924 in geneva where the capitalist business owners in the bulb industry gathered from around the world and started cartel fevers a worldwide cartel for the production of bulbs that had shorter lives this was the death of capitalism and the birth of planned obsolescence by deliberately reducing the life cycle of especially bulbs from 2500 hours to close to 1000 hours this resulted in a 250% increase in the need of light bulbs the plan was successful bulb companies from around the world flips from holland and osram germany started making bulbs with a thousand hour limit capitalists had successfully managed to increase their sales within 2 to 3 years october 24 1929 world street crashed economy collapsed people needed a hero bernard london came at the right time with the idea of planned obsolescence however it didn't work until group stevens presented the same content but with slight changes and that's how perceived obsolescence came into be perceived obsolescence says that don't make the product vulnerable but introduce a new product with slight changes and market it in such a way that people think that it is very important to consume that new product to gain confidence i think now you understand why apple launches new iphone every year and make everyone to stand in long queues to buy a new iphone every september today planned obsolescence is thriving is still alive and expanding into new schemes terms like product life cycle has become common in the world and people are now habitual of buying the products repetitively 
thus it can be said that humans are now drenched in this consumer based society completely did you know when the bulb was created it lasted for more than 2500 hours in fact the centennial light in levemore california is a bulb that is continuously burning since 1901 compare that to the life cycle of the bulbs today another example is nylon people today didn't know that when nylon was invented by dupont in 1935 and at that time it was called the everlasting thread because it was so strong that you could move cars with it amazing right no for business owners it means no frequent repeat sales today thanks to planned obsolescence the highest quality nylon stocking steer away within weeks if not days Planned obsolescence is everywhere nowadays but it is more in electronics industry in old days people used to buy sewing machines fridges and TVs and they can be used for more than 3 decades but nowadays when you buy a phone or when you buy a sewing machine or when you buy a fridge you can't use them for more than 5 years because they are engineered in such a way that you can't call your technician and ask them to repair it because it will be so expensive that you have to buy an other fridge leave everything else and take an example of your smartphone you can't use them for more than a year and that's why you prefer to buy another one and that's why you line up in the long queues to buy another phone apple was sued in 2017 by french users on the claim that it deliberately slowed down its older iphones with the software updates so that consumer will be forced to buy new ones Apple accepted that it indeed does that and paid 113 million for settlement just 14 years ago in 2003 consumers found the same problem with iPods consumers found that iPod was manufactured to have a short life of just 18 months after which it would crash and become unusable Apple also didn't design it to have a removable battery which meant when the battery would die consumers would have to buy a whole new very expensive ipod in december 2003 a class action suit was filed and 10 months later apple accepted that it designed its lithium batteries to be short lived and paid 50 dollars to all of its 3 million customers who had bought the ipod why did apple didn't learn from its 2003 experience and continued practicing planned obsolescence until being caught again in 2017 planned obsolescence has made itself such a part of modern business industry that paying huge amounts of settlement fines is still more profitable compared to the amount of money these companies make with planned obsolescence there are four types of planned obsolescence or you can say there are four categories of planned obsolescence or you can you say that planned obsolescence is practiced in four different ways one is software updates other is contrived durability third is perceived obsolescence and fourth is prevention of repair contrived durability is the oldest tactic of planned obsolescence which says that shorten the life cycle of a product to make consumers buy it constantly and repetitively Software update is another most used technique of planned obsolescence which says that make a software in such a way that when people update the software of their phones of their devices then they can't use it anymore or they have to change it perceived obsolescence is the name for creative marketing and smart advertising campaigns which are designed to present the product and launch them every year in such a way that people are forced to buy them and consider them as the source of building self esteem and they think that's why that if they won't buy the product they won't be hip chic and fun apple for instance introduces new iphones every year with a slight improvement and with skillful marketing and brand image they have successfully established themselves as a luxury brand everyone wants to be rich and 
owning the latest iPhone has become a symbol of financial prowess. Apple appeals to the feelings of its customers and it works. It works brilliantly for Apple, not for consumers who fall in this never-ending trap of capitalist consumerism. The other technique of planned obsolescence is prevention of repair. According to this technique, companies design products in such a way that you can't call a technician to repair your iPhone, your printer, your devices, your phones, your fridges or anything else. This is how global industry works today, where happiness and consumerism are synonyms of each other, where your happiness relies on how much you have bought the new items. And that's why we are all now we have become the part of this so-called consumer society. Actually, capitalists have snatched the right to make us, to avoid us buying the products by introducing the concept of credit card. If you have no money to buy a product, simple, use consumer credit. It will help you buy all of your favorite products. But you have to pay tax for a long time and that's the main problem. Everything has consequences. Consumerism has consequences too. Planned obsolescence has consequences too. That's the reason why infinite growth is unsustainable and why it's unsustainable because it means that companies have to design more and more products when more and more products are designed it means that more and more pollution and that's why we need a different solution today the global consumerism based society creates more than 2.01 billion tons of solid waste alone humans are running out of space to dump their waste companies today claim to go green and sustainable but that is not because of the kindness of their heart or concern for the planet they are reducing waste and adopting sustainable practices because there is no more space for them to dump their waste their consumer based business model generates so much waste that they themselves can't handle anymore a constant stream of waste by big companies is shipped to third world countries like ghana destroying their environment and polluting their cities even though this is illegal by international law merchants declare this waste as second hand goods and dump as much as they like pollution is making this planet inhabitable greenhouse gases global warming and climate occurring due to this consumerism has resulted in death of millions of people every year the idea of capitalist and planned obsolescence is killing the planet literally solution what can be the solution of it it's simple that we all have to work together with the companies companies need to design such products that can last longer and reduce planned obsolescence similarly government is required to work on their policies they have to design such policies that can make companies to design such products such things that work for more than a year and make them to design creative products not something which resulted in great marketing and so much waste all of us needs to join hands together to create circular economy an idea that gives hope for a better future it is based on the idea of reduce reuse and recycle which is considered as the perfect solution of planned obsolescence companies need to realize this before it's too late because too late is not redeemable and it's not survivable we need action right now if you like this video comment tell us what you like the best about this video and tell us how we can fight against planned obsolescence nowadays because your opinion matters a lot